No one knows exactly when the fire started. A fire official spotted smoke downtown a little after 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And now two buildings in an industrial complex are destroyed. Some of its tenants lost everything. News Channel 15's Adam Widener kicks off our team coverage live from Herbert Street. Adam, what does it look like there tonight? Fire crews continue to put out lots of hot spots at the scene behind me. We're learning more about that black plume of smoke many of you saw coming from downtown yesterday. One of the two buildings at this complex was covered with this. It's polyurethane foam. As you can see, it's very lightweight. It's used as insulation, but yesterday it served as fuel for the flames in one of the largest Fort Wayne fires in recent memory. Now, I want you to take a look at a map of this industrial complex. We are standing at the north section of the complex. The fire ripped through building one on the west section of this complex and destroyed building two just east of there. No one could tell me the exact size of this place, but say it is hundreds of thousands of square feet. Two owners and at least five other tenants used space for either storage or a business. Inside, tenants kept landscaping equipment, medical equipment like wheelchairs, wood panels, forklifts. One tenant says he was keeping a friend's speedboat in there. We spotted charred vehicles in the rubble today and spoke with John Allen Sr. He said he was running a car repair shop out of his space at the complex and headed to the scene yesterday when his wife called him crying. I lost everything. Um, eight years of acquiring, uh, buying out other businesses, we lost it all. The lift, the tools, the torches, plasma cutters, we lost everything. So basically what it takes to run a business is what I've lost. So it's unfortunate, but uh, nobody got hurt. That's the important part. Allen says he didn't have insurance. Another tenant told me he lost up to $50,000 worth of equipment. And all fire officials tell me every Fort Wayne firefighter that was on duty yesterday responded in some way, shape, or form sometime yesterday to this scene. And it is not over yet. Crews should be cleaning up here, I'm told, throughout the night. We're live downtown. Adam Widener, News Channel 15. And one of the biggest questions tonight is what caused the fire. Investigators are still hard at work trying to figure that out. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson spent the day learning more, and she continues our team coverage back out live on Herbert Street. Well, tonight, the exact cause of what started this massive fire is still unknown, but we have learned that investigators are focusing on a certain area. Let me show you. The demolition started down here on this end of the building. Well, then the demolition crews have been working their way all the way down this far area to that brick wall off in the distance. See where it's still standing up? I'm being told that that is a point of interest. So the investigators will be going through that area very carefully, looking for any kind of evidence to see if that is where the fire started and what might have caused it. Now, today we also learned about how fires are investigated, and it really all starts as soon as the crews arrive. They immediately are looking at the smoke, where the flames are, where the flames are not, the burn patterns, and of course, talking to witnesses. And all of that is what it really helped investigators in this fire narrow it down to a point of interest, which in a scene this big can really make it more manageable. And in this particular fire, um, you know, when we arrived, there was a very large area that was involved, but it was concentrated in one particular area of the building. So um, even though this building behind us is destroyed, at the end of the building it was involved when we got there, obviously. So those are simple clues that start pointing them in the right direction. Investigators say it still could be a while before we do know a cause of this fire. We've been asked, uh, the question has been raised is, is this an arson? Well, fire officials telling me today that that's not determined until a cause is determined. So that will be a question that they'll be looking into, but we're still far off from knowing if this was an arson or not. Of course, we'll keep you updated on any developments of the investigation as we learn them.